Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're capping off a week, uh, basically learning how to deal with the heaviest, deepest shots from your opponent. We've looked at tackling going back. We've looked at on the rise. Today we're looking at the short hop. And this is really not a decision that you guys have any choice about. The short hop forehand that we're gonna look at today is gonna come against the best heavy deep ball from your opponent, meaning it's gonna land so big and so close to the baseline that the option to go back or the option to go up and take it on the rise really aren't there for us. And we wanna know how to tackle this because a lot of players are going out and just blocking this ball back. You know, it lands right at my feet and I'm seeing a lot of players just block the shot back and the, the issue with that, even though you're probably maybe making that, is your opponents are just pummeling that next ball. So we wanna find a way out of this situation to, to elevate that rally and elevate our game and, and keep us in it. Two, two ways to go about this I wanna look at and it's really gonna come down to ball position. And we're talking a couple inches here because obviously if I don't have time to go back and I can't move up and yet there's a, a different swing to make, we're talking a few inches difference on where this lands. So the first one would be a huge heavy ball that's landing about a foot in front of the baseline. And what I think you guys should be using there is more of this windshield wiper forehand. It's a fast racket creating a ton of topspin and it's a little more of an abbreviated stroke than our standard forehand which is key because there's not a lot of time here to take the full cut at the ball. We, we describe it as a short hop because the ball while it has the chance to elevate up huge is still down. It's down low, it's about knee level slightly in front of me and I'm just fighting it off with that fast windshield wiper forehand. Now, the really tough one is if Mark lands it now in between this blue line and the baseline. Somewhere in here, if not right on the back of that line. If that's the case, now I am most likely into a buggy whip forehand. Same idea though, it's gonna produce top spin, it's a very fast stroke, probably the fastest stroke I can make. And yet again, it's a little more abbreviated because I'm not taking that full path out around my body. So it allows me to execute a good stroke in a very short amount of time. Probably the thing I advocate the most for to all my players against this shot because it's both of those are occurring down in here. Contact is somewhere in there happening quickly. So I tell my players a lot, hey, stay down, be down with contact, because that's gonna keep everything intact, keep you focused on that ball, not allow the swing to get up and big the way it can occur if we're standing a little bit too tall and broad. You see me on that buggy whip, on the back end of it, I end up popping up. But if you watch closely, at the time I go down to make contact, the body is loaded low, okay? So if the release happens and you guys pop out of that, I'm totally okay with that. But be very focused at the time you're trying to initiate this shot and go get it, work on staying a lot lower than you would for just that standard ground stroke, okay? And again, this is, this is your opponent's best shot and a lot of times it might occur just in a standard rally, but where I find it to be kind of the most used on my end is if I bomb a serve and my opponent just catches that return perfectly, I didn't have time off my return or off my serve to back up enough. So I'm in this position off the serve where I might be just inside the baseline they hit this ripper return, and here I am catching this ball. All right, so the short hop against that heavy, deep ball from your opponent, basically their best shot they can deliver to you. We've got those couple swing options, buggy whip, windshield wiper, 
Position wise, you guys are just stuck right up next to that ball. Don't look to leave the situation. You're not trying to back away or get in on this. Be okay being right next to that ball. Ton of racket speed, create some top spin. Not just be a blocker out of this situation, but let's swing our way out of this situation. All right, so I hope that was super helpful for you guys. Please click like below this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You'll find the link to three free courses Mark and I have put together. I think you will find those very helpful. All right, so until next time, be well. We'll see you soon.